This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Winona Tinholt with <laughs> Wealthy Elementary School in East Grand Rapids. We have a video from your nominator. Take a look. Okay. Hey everyone, I just want to say that I think that teachers are some of the hardest working people around and I know many amazing teachers who deserve to be recognized. Um, but there's one teacher that really stands out and that's Winona Tinholt. Yeah. Um, she's just made a difference in so many people's lives. She has fun lessons that the kids still remember. Um, I know that my kids love flea market. She has fun field trips for them, like Mackinac Island and Lansing. She works with struggling students, yet she also will um, challenge those who need an extra challenge. Um, she's kind-hearted. Uh, I can think of kids during the summer who try to go to her house and they sell her lemonade <laughs> and brownies and she just encourages them and um, they love it. They love hanging out with her in the summer. She's also um, a person that you can count on that will be there. She's just very dedicated to her job. Um, she is a person, she inspires hope, she lights imagination, and she instills the love of learning. Um, East Grand Rapids is really lucky to have her. My kids were lucky to have her. And um, I just can't say enough great things about her. Um, thank you, Winona. You're an inspiration to your students and your inspiration to me. Congratulations, Mrs. Tinholt. What's going lovely. through your mind right now? That was lovely. That was lovely. Rory is a very special person. And uh, yes, that was lovely. Uh, she has, yes. I just maybe need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that um, going through her mind, I just feel very touched and honored that she would say those lovely things about me. Yeah. Um, yes, she's also a teacher as well. So we spend a lot of time talking about school and talking about different challenges and uh, she pushes me to be better as well. So yes, that was, that was lovely. So yes. for the last 28 years, you've <laughs> been a major influence in, in the lives of children. What motivates you to be a teacher? I have been in East Grand Rapids for a little over 20 years. And one of the things that I love about being a teacher is that this sense of community that is created. And I'm so fortunate to be in a school surrounded by uh, educators that love their job and a principal that's just incredibly supportive that uh, I just really get to shine and I get to make those connections with children. And those connections don't end at the end of a school year. I always tell my fourth graders, I'm. I, I'm not a, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm always your teacher. It doesn't end on the last day of school. I'm mm -hmm. always your teacher. And I've been so fortunate that that has actually been true, that they are able to come back and visit me in the classroom. I live in the area, so they <laughs> do come to my house quite often, uh, and, you know, sit on my front porch and, uh, just reconnect and tell me about their lives and tell me what they're doing. And, um, yes, yeah, so, I went into education because I loved working with children, just like many people go into education and being inspired by uh, educators in the family. But really what has given me the longevity is just this sense of community that I've been a part of. Yes, and when those kids come back and they talk to you, that has to warm your heart that, oh, absolutely. that you've made such an impact. Oh, well, absolutely, that they feel that I'm still, that I still care for them and it didn't just end at the end of the year and that um, what they're doing in their lives is important. And it's important to me, and they know that. So I, that's just the best part. Yeah, of and, my job. and you are making an impact mm -hmm. in the life of a student. And so for you, what is that like when, when you see a student understand a concept for the first time? <laughs> uh, understanding a concept is, I mean, those, those are some of my most favorite moments in teaching. And it's not, it's, to me, it's not just about understanding a moment, but it's understanding themselves as learners, that they can do hard things and they can do hard things for a long time and uh, that they have the skills that maybe it's challenging right now, but they know that they have the skills inside of them to navigate tough problems and tough moments. And um, that's the best part about my job is when I, it's actually starting this time of year when I see my students doing all their homework. When at the beginning of the year, they were doing very little of it, which I don't get that much, but just a little bit. <laughs> but also um, when they are advocating for themselves, like I'm, I got this far, but and I can't get any further. And um, I, I, you know, I, I don't, those are just the best parts. I have this saying in my classroom, 
uh, that uh, to fail fast, that we fail quickly so that we learn from our mistakes. And then when we learn from our mistakes, we can, um, we, we, we are, our learning is so much deeper in the long run. And fail fast. Let's not wait to fail at the end. Let's fail now. And I kind of took that from this idea of video games. Kids are failing all the time in video games. And why are they failing in video games and going again and again and again? And they're building those skills and they're passing a the level and then they're being successful. In my classroom, I kind of try and use that as a, as a guide. Like, okay, I want them to fail, fail, fail. But then I want them to get it and have, a really, have the tools necessary so they can level up, so to speak, and be successful uh, to carry that over into new concepts and uh, new challenges. Well, your nominator talks about you have fun in the classroom. I like to have fun. Yes, yeah. I like school. I like learning. I want my children to love learning. I want them to have fun. I want them to come to school every day um, excited to learn. To, but also, um, I want them to know that learning is just the best part of growing up. And we learn from mistakes and we learn from challenges and we learn uh, new things every single day. And we try and find fun ways to do that, yes. But also we really work hard. So I, I guess I'm a little bit of a balance of these old school traditions in my 28 years that, you know, we're just gonna really work hard every day and do, yeah. So almost three decades, can you envision doing anything else? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, I cannot, I cannot. I, um, I think about, I don't know. I, I think I've always just wanted to be a teacher. When not just, I've always wanted to be a teacher. My, I had this amazing aunt, Alma Stadema, who taught in my elementary school. And until to this day, I'm striving to be a teacher like she was. She loved teaching. She loved uh, having fun in her classroom as well. She loved it when kids did hard things. And so uh, I, even as a young child, I remember thinking, oh, I want to be just like her. So no, I can't imagine anything else. Well, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Winona receives a $1,500 check from the Michigan Lottery, and her class at Wealthy Elementary receives a $500 grant. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $24.5 billion to public education since 1972.